We're here at the Arcadian Loft in Toronto where fashion and men's fashion are hosting the spring 2013 trends event. Here's a sneak peek at what's hot in fashion and beauty for the upcoming season. We are at the Arcadian Lofts at the Bay and we're here for our spring trend presentation 2013 and we're gonna hear about all the fabulous things that have come down the runway for spring. So some of the main trends that we're seeing for spring 2013 include the return of grunge. Probably the biggest color is blue, but don't be scared. It's not like the blue of the 70s or 80s. It's really nice to see a color back on the eye. Well, that dark goth cloud that hung over beauty last season has parted and lifted, making way for strong color messages on both lips and eyes, as well as a return to the 90s minimalism with clean, barely made up looking faces. Trends that I'm most excited about, I think probably the 60s. Lots of patterns, bright, bright the more color. color the better. Statement sunnies, we all need a pair. I'm always a fan of black and white. Black and white and maybe some neon green and neon pink. Whether horizontal, vertical, thin, thick, black and white, or in living color, Stripes make an impact day or night, in and out of the water. I love the trends presentation, very informative. I had to pull out a notebook and start right taking notes. Love David Livingston on men's fashion. And that is a double-breasted jacket, so it simply looks like a fold-over. That's what makes for a striking illustration of Kodachrome in spring 2013. Don't you all agree? <laughs> Double-breasted being back again is interesting because it, it's not a cut that's that's flattering for many figures. I love that they're going back and recycling a lot of the things that are found in vintage fashion. I love how Lisa made reference to skinny hair. It's the the departure from body, which I thought was really interesting. We really enjoy coming out to this because I think it's fun to hear the inspiration behind the particular look. So you don't just look and see a mauve lip, you hear about what the inspiration was to create that and so on. 